and K felt like going for a walk. But hardly had he taken a couple of steps when he was already at the cemetery. glided along one of them, as if on a rushing stream, with unshaken poise and balance. From a long way off, his eye was caught by a freshly heaped grave mound, which he wanted to pause beside. almost a fascination over him, and he felt he could not reach it fast enough. lost sight of it, for his view was obscured by banners which veered and flapped against each other with great force. One could not see the standard banners, but there seemed to be a very joyous celebration going on.
scarcely had Kay arrived when they thrust the stone into the earth, and it stood as if cemented there. <laughs> Thank you. 
he looked back at him and noted that he was deeply embarrassed and yet unable to explain himself. All his earlier vivacity had vanished. That made Kay feel embarrassed too. They exchanged helpless glances. There was some dreadful misunderstanding between them, which neither could resolve. fingers. He 
dug into the earth, which offered almost no resistance. Everything seemed prepared beforehand. A thin crust of earth had been constructed only for the look of the thing. Immediately beneath it, a great hole opened out with steep sides into which Kay sank, wafted onto his back by a gentle current.